positions of these numbers now also have the effect of changing the letter itself. How exciting. Whoa! Digital cryptography! Okay. Uh-oh. Modern day cryptography continues to use steganography, the dinosaur transposition and substitution techniques combined with the speed of mechanized era and with greater key lengths to create vastly complex ciphers. One important difference is that digital ciphers work on the binary representations of letters instead of working directly with the letters themselves. For example, using ASCII encoding, A is represent A. You guys know this stuff, right? Have we been using ASC whatever before in like Talos principle? Then we have to use that a few times. I think we were talking about it earlier when we were doing one of the other puzzles. Encoding A is represented by the sequence 01000001. Digital steganography allows the binary representation of a message to be hidden in any type of digital file. Often it has no noticeable artifacts for the user and can be extremely well hidden. However, forensic scrutiny of the file will still reveal the message. ASCII? Okay, thank you. Digital transposition is particularly effective as a plain text letter is now fractionalized into many digits which can be separated. Shuffling the positions of these numbers now also has the effect of changing the letter itself. Digital substitution can be performed by combining a plain text, by combining a plain text letter's binary sequence and a key text letter's binary sequence using an exclusive or logic gate. This process is symmetrical, so combining a cipher text with its key will return it back into plain text. Modern ciphers split the plain text up into blocks, which are enciphered using a series of substitution and transposition steps. Encipherment is repeated in many rounds and uses keys of at least 128 bits to create cipher text, which are resistant to all known forms of attack. Most of that was something I didn't get. Let's look at our example for a sec here. Okay, so B. Okay, so what this is showing us is that 65 through 90 is our alphabet. And then we already understand from back from steganography, we have binary up on the wall. You guys remember that? Uh, and you had 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. So this is showing us that you can get the number. That number can correlate to a letter of the alphabet, and you can actually do that. So that actually makes sense. I actually like, so this makes sense if we can keep it there. Now, what do we have over here? So ASCII, is it actually ASCII? Or are you making me say something that makes me sound like an idiot? Because I actually don't know. ASCII shows us 65, 67, 97, 98, 99, got it. Binary, we already saw this. And then the exclusive OR gate. Is that ZOR? It actually is ASCII. Okay, what about, how do I, would I say this? XOR? ZOR? Should I just say exclusive OR every time? XOR, okay. XOR. That sounds like, now, are we in Star Trek or like, this sounds like I, I'm coming up with a whole, I'm, I'm like speaking a weird little language here. I'm turning into a programmer and I didn't even want to. Plain text would be 0101. The key would say 0011. So our cipher text would be 0110. Result is one if and only if only one of the two inputs are one. Got it. Yo, new page. Yo, let's solve this and I'll, 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 I bet this will help me. Let's let's get this, let's get through this. So on the left here, I see all these ones and everything. And this looks like the uh, cipher text, right? So our cipher text would be 0110. That's our cipher text. And then on the right side would be, so I'm assuming on the right side here. So if we go back to here, I think the key, so plain text. So we have the cipher text and then we have the key, right? And then we're trying to get to the plain text. So cipher text is 0110. So if 0110 is our cipher text, 0100 is our key, because we're working backwards, right? Oh God. Okay, you guys already kind of know this stuff. I don't, I don't already kind of know this stuff. You guys have a head start on me. So this is, uh, so we have 64 plus 32 plus four, 64 is 90 is 100, right? 64, oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. You're saying it, it means lowercase alphabet because it automatically equals 96. I got it now. Okay, I'm a little I'm a little slow picking it up, but I'm getting it. Okay, so that equals 96, awesome. Plus one is gonna equal 97. Excellent, okay, cool, 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 cool. This is great, 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 awesome. So if we go over here, 97 is A. So we have A, a, 100 is D. Um, I think, I think data. Yeah, 
Ah, learning! I love learning! Learning! Puzzle number two. Let's see what we got. Great. Now, why is hello up there? Why would hello be up there? I don't understand that. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Oh, so let's just solve these out then. Hello is our X, our, yeah, our XR key. Yeah, there's a key here. So the hello is a key. So what are we translating here? What are we trying to do with the hello? What are we trying to do with the hello? Ah, uh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay. I see what you're saying. So zero, zero, 001 is is giving us a denotation of what we're what we're doing and the other five are what we're actually working with. Hello is the five code for the right side five. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I see. I see, I see, I see. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Sick. So we have one 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 blah 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 blah. And we need to take one 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 blah 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 blah. And we need to uh throw it through hello. Okay. So H would be H is 72. Okay. So H is 72. H is eight? I thought I was trying to get 72. I mean, I understand eight in binary. H is eight in binary, zero, zero, one, zero, zero. That makes sense. But why am I not making it or 64 plus, oh. So we have one, 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 one. And we have zero, zero, one, zero, zero, which gives me one, one, zero, one, one. Right, one, one, zero, one, one. So the top row is zero zero one 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 zero one one. Did I win? Was that good? Did I do a good? Zero 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 one 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 zero one one zero one 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 zero one one. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. So this will be a solution. Well, I'll put the solution over here. So we have zero one 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 zero one one. Okay, good. E. So if we're doing our uh, XOR gate here, we have so we have zero zero one zero one zero one zero. E is going to be five five plus sixty four for sixty nine. I'm so nuts. I'm getting the hang of this, guys. I'm basically a programmer. So that's going to be zero one. Zero, zero, five, five is four plus one. So we're gonna do zero, one, zero, one. Oh, I'm so good at this game. I'm so good at all of it. Just all of it, I'm so good at it. One, 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 zero, one, one, zero. What? Uh-oh. I think I screwed this up. Team? Did I do my math wrong? 96, 106, 112, 20, 23. That's what I got. Maybe, what have I done? What have I, what have I done? All right, new solution is... Okay, so that's good. So we got W there. Now for the second one here, we got E. E is gonna be, an E is one zero one zero one zero. Okay, and then, or I'm sorry, the second thing there is that. And then E is one, two, four for five. Okay, so I did this one right. And that gives me O. Oh, jeez. I'm not a programmer, but I know that. Next, uh, next order. Next order. So I'm reading this as lowercase. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I don't know what those top numbers are representing though. What are those top numbers representing about? The issue here is I don't know what the numbers up on the top are, what those are trying to do or what those are trying to represent. Now those numbers aren't binary. That's the interesting part. So are you guys ready to uh, let, now I am leaving. I know, I know. I know it's just so hard to fractionalize into many digits, which can be separated. Shuffling the positions of these numbers now also has the effect of changing the letter. In. What if we need to actually get these back to binary? We have three twos up there, three twos, two ones. There's seven max. Seven is max, right? Okay. Seven is max, so three bits is enough to represent each of those numbers. Oh. No, 
it's not U B U B Y B. Digital transposition is particularly effective as a plain text letter. A plain text letter is now fractionalized into many digits, which can be separated. Shuffling the position of these numbers now also has the effect of changing the letter itself. I don't understand how it applies though still. 25 and 72 doesn't, but 25, no, that doesn't, 52. Uh, that actually doesn't. Having that seven on the end there has to go with a one. Okay, so what if we logic out our top, just for fun, just for fun, okay? To try to get a four letter word here. Let's see how that helps us. That also means that we're gonna have a U. Oh, maybe, maybe I'm nuts. Am I crazy for figuring is I I don't think I figured it out for the record. That's 21. U is 21. Well, that doesn't spell anything. Man, I felt really good about myself. For just a moment, team. I felt pretty good. Q U Y W. Fractionalize the shenane, right? Sorry, one more. I know, I know you're probably all staring at it. Now you just all threw your pens across the room and all this stuff and whatever else. It's telling us to shuffle. So what we're doing is we need to shuffle. Okay, digital time to effect of a as a fraction of many digits can be separated. Shuffling. So we're shuffling something. Are we shuffling columns? Oh, maybe. Let's try this. Let's try this. I think that seven is very, very key. Zero, one, one, one. So we're doing two. Now let's do one. Zero, one, one, zero, 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 one, zero. Now let's do three. Actually, we already did this. We already did this in this order. Never mind. That's not going to come up with anything. Cabbage. Cabbage plus B. What about baggage? Nope, that's not enough because then we'd have the C and we still need another. Are we switching the columns? Are we adding the, the, the binary representation? No, nope, because that's seven. Are we flipping the number? Are we saying what it has to equal? Are we are we shifting them that many places? Like, are we moving them one down? That kind of a thing? Well, why would the seven? So it's interesting. Okay, so if it's an operation on the column, what if we flip, what if we flip the thing to do the thing? So like if, uh, no, cause then why would you, cause you can't, so the zero, the one and the one at the beginning is what's throwing me off. So two, two, one, three, how would that operate on zero, one, and one? So we have a bunch of zeros in the first column. We want those to stay zeros, right? So if we want those to stay zeros, then the two up at the top, what would be the operation we would do on all those zeros? Right? I can't think, I can't think of another way to do it. But then I don't know which ones I'm supposed to shift. Am I supposed to change? Cause it, no, cause it can't, it can't be changed. Cause if it was change, then that means that our, our beginning three columns would get all, all, all buffled. The problem, I can't, it's not changed because the 213 has, cannot mean anything. It could mean we just switch. Like, hey, there's a one in this column. So only one of these is wrong kind of a thing. Like one of these needs to change, but then that's, then we're just guessing and there's no way we're supposed to guess for the remaining five. We have seven rows of binary underneath a row that is giving us some kind of a change or an operation to each column. Um, we know it is transposition. We don't know what those numbers up top are telling us to do. They're telling us to do something. I mean, could it be telling us? No, because there's eight columns. I mean, I guess that could still work. Is it telling us to redo the columns? I don't know about redoing the columns. I mean, maybe it is telling us that column two needs to go there, but then we're at, up at 128 and we move out of our range, don't we? As soon as we would put column two, what if we take the second of each, what if we take, okay, so zero. So the second, what's the second number down in that row? It's zero. What's the first? One, three down is one. This one is zero. And then we have two, two is zero. Five, one, two, three, four, five is one. Seven is zero, two is one. What is that? Or perhaps that is our um, exclusive OR gate. Well, could the gate could the gate work uh, separately? Like, could there be two separate gates for the column? So that's an operation on the column. That makes me think that's an XOR gate. An XOR gate has to be involved, right? Shift the column up or down. I like that. Let's try that. 
Because that's 16 plus 8 for 24, and then another 4 is 28, and I'm already out. So I think uh, going up is not the key. Well, I screwed that up. So uh, 0... So we just pop a zero up on top, and then we go zero, one, one, zero. Thank you for doing this. This is awesome. Okay, so we have the one for two, which is B. One for two, which is B. We have the one, one, uh, one, two, four, eight, uh, seven, nine, and then one, four, five. Feels good, man. Um, I'm gonna have to stop the stream. Tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning we will pick up this guy. All right, um, so here's our puzzle uh, for the for for the beginning of the stream. Here this is what we're gonna be this is what we're gonna be working with. So we have now the problem here. The problem here I see is a few is uh, a few things here. The IMG at the top. What's that about? right and then the other thing is unless that's telling us that it's going to be an image that we're looking for so like for example let's take maybe img has to be like so it's an image file because if we take if we take one 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 zero that's going to give us like 10 jillion that's that's out of our range right that's not that can't be a letter or anything unless what we're actually looking for or if it's not an image, then at least it's it's something. I'm seeing something here. Modern ciphers split the plain text up into blocks, which are enciphered using a series of substitution and transposition steps. Encipherment is repeated in many rounds and uses keys of at least 128 bits to create cipher text, which are resistant to all known forms of attack. Okay, so the hint said steganography. So if this is hidden in an image file, what am I trying to see here? Okay, what if we look at what if we look at what our zeros are making? Let's look at what our zeros are making first, right? So we got so we have an L, okay, we have an L, an I, an R, another I. What am I what am I missing here? So it's an image. It's clearly it is a it is a drawing, it's an image. Like it's it's steganography. Remember what steganography is? Steganography is something hidden in plain sight. How could we take this? in their lower order bits. Okay, so the lower order bits are 0, 1, 0, 1, blah, 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 5, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. So you're saying if we split that into 8, it is not PG. One thing you notice is that in the groups of 8, the first 7 bits are always the same. Oh. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, and then one zero zero one. Wait, that's what you already, and is that what you said the lower order bits were? No, no, no. Okay, so that's the order of those. Are we supposed to draw this? Are we, so we're supposed to draw it? So we need to, we need to draw out the image. But, it, so it's feeding us the information and it's telling us where to put the shenanigans. So if we shenane on the kerfuffle, so we have to kerfuffle the numbers, shenane it backwards, and then we can line it up, stamp it out, mail it. That, I don't know if that's actually going to going to help, though. Oh, man, I have s written so many things down. Who's going to... Ah! Wait. Oh, so many notes. What? Those are just pictures. I'm starting to mix my notes with old notes from something else I don't know. Wait, I'm looking at the wrong... How... How do we do? Wait, where's my? Where's my enigma? Where's my enigma? I found it. That doesn't do anything for me. Another sip of coffee. Well, that doesn't look like anything. Okay, that didn't help. Okay, so what's the image? Okay, we got it. I, so we have our thing. There's numbers up here. Okay, and then I got like there's an L somewhere that doesn't matter. I tried. I thought. Excuse me. I thought it looked like a train, so I typed in train. That failed. We know it's steganography. We know that the fact that it's an image, this is this is an image. What's it look like? It looks like a train. What does it look like? What does it look like? What does it look like? Team, what does it look like? What does it look like, guys? What do we got here? Uh, 
What is this? What is this thing? What does it look like? What are we? You want to see what I drew for four by four? Well, I didn't draw anything. I just took all the. I just took the ones. I mean, it's not it. It's not it. I took the. I just took the end parts and put them together. So I took the end of the eight. So you know, your zero 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 one zero one one. 0001 and 1001 and I just put them into a box and it looks like absolutely nothing. 4x4, four four, wait a second, wait a second. What you're saying is that each one of these represents a bit of information that either needs to be filled in or not because there's 4x4. Four four. This is a 4x4 four four image. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, so we need... Wait. But how do we know what to fill in? How do we know what the image needs to look like when it comes out on the other side? How do we know what that needs to look like? Now for our third column. Third column here, we got zero. Zero up top. 254 a couple times. Seems pretty good. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. We got 254 and then we got one. What's up, one? How you doing? Then we got one. Zero, zero, one. Okay, so I've written it. I've written out my four by four with my numbers. So I've I've written it out into its thing. IMG is an XOR gate. Is IMG an XOR gate for two fifty four? Hmm. Or is that no 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 no? Because this is it's steganography, hidden in plain sight sort of a gig. Okay, so zero is not black. One is black. If I remember, I didn't I already write I wrote that down already. I Had that exact thing down here already should look like half an answer if you if you've done it, right? Well, I'm just like scribbling now on the page for no reason. I don't know how I'm supposed to represent this I'm really bad at this. I need to figure out how like what am I missing? Like how am I supposed to see what am I supposed to see there? I just supposed to color that in and that's it and I'm just supposed to know that that's what it that's what that's what it is. Is there a way for me to like put this in on the internet or something? Is that the idea? Does that does that look like does that look like the idea of what you guys you guys also dealt with here? <laughs> I have because that, that so I just I, I scribbled over the things. I don't know what I'm doing. Colors reversed. Colors reversed. But I but I drew the thing. Well, it's not airplane. That's good. It's not plane. What does that look like? It's an airplane though, right? Is it supposed to look like something else? A gun? What the? I don't know. Flip was I down. I got a gun. It's not gun. It's not airplane. Am I spelling something wrong? Did I spell it wrong the first time I typed it in? Nope, certainly did not. Uh, you are, uh, what? Well, what else are you gonna be, dude? Wait, what? How do we finagle the bagel if I see the thing? It's not doing a thing! Wait, how is Bax Dense here? He sees an airplane and it's not working. What am I missing? What, 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 what's the problem? What's the problem here? Because I am not, I am not seeing anything but an airplane here. And no matter what I would change here, he says it doesn't look like an airplane, but he thinks it looks like an airplane, but he doesn't think it looks like anything. Uh-oh. I already wrote out that code. So we got zero and then we got, um, I already actually went through this too. I'm pretty sure. So if I remember, that was a. Uh, so we got. So I have my. I have my thing here. Plain edge. Plain. Plain edge. No, it's not gonna be something like that. That's kind of weird. That doesn't make any sense. It'd be like a. Like a edge. Uh, it could be like a. At the end. Zero one zero one. So zero one zero one. Oh. What? So, so we have, yeah, so we have PG, we got PG, we got 8071, we got PG, Scout threw that down earlier, so nice job, Scout. Nice job for being on top of that, man. That's really cool. Um, so we have PG, and then we have something that looks like an airplane. Awesome. That's, that's what we're dealing with right now, folks. PG and something that looks like an airplane. Alright, so here you go. Here's my, here's my awesome pictures, okay? Here you go. So here is the original one, okay? Here's me like trying to kerfuffle on the outside, but that looks terrible. 
here is me trying to actually accurately represent the thing. The stupid thing, right? Kinda, kinda, sorta. And then here is me doing a bad job of the same thing, but inverted. So this is the one I like rolling with right here. That one seems all right, right? Uh, but apparently it's not an airplane. So we're going with something else. Oh! Oh my God! How have I been sitting here the whole time? I cannot believe that. I, I had all the pieces. Okay. Oh man. If you need me to zoom up on anything, let me know. How'd you get the P and the G? Uh, with the uh, with the lower the hidden code bits that Scal mentioned. Um, zero 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 one. Or no, I'm sorry. Uh, where were they? Zero one zero one zero 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 one zero 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 one 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 which was 80 and 71, which was PNG. Basic encryption standard to encrypt, arrange text and key into four by four blocks. Swap columns one, two, and three, four of each block. Substitute an XOR gate text block using key block. Shift rows of text block zero, one, two, three, complete two rounds. Are you serious? Okay, so let's dive in. Let's dive into this thing. We need a fresh piece of paper. We need the freshest. Freshest paper, baby. Let's go. Super fresh paper. Man, this paper is so clean right now. I almost feel bad. Oh, boy. I actually don't even know. So the round one key is YS, which we can just put into, uh, which we can put into the thing, right? Okay, so the round one key is Y and S. Round two key is G and S. 89, 83, round two key BX for 66 and 88. So 89, 83 and 66, 88. Oh, plus 16. Plus, so that's 70, that's 80, and now we need 9, plus 8, plus 1, which looks like 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay, so first we need to do our key block. Yeah, so we have our key block and our text block. So let's do our text block first. Now the problem here, so to encrypt, arrange text and key into 4x4 four four blocks. So that's to encrypt. We need to go backwards from encryption, right? So we've encrypted, and this is the steps to encrypt. We need to decrypt. So are we arranging, we're arranging the one one. So arranging one zero zero one. Okay, one zero zero one, zero one one one. So if we need to go backwards first, we have our key. So our round, so our round two key is what we need first. Our round two key, we have our round two key. YS is 16 bits. Correct, that's what I have. Correct, YS is 16 bits, but if you look at this, it says zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so it's it's tell it's not telling me to recycle and that KO needs to be the same. So if we substitute the XOR, okay, so let's work backwards. Complete two rounds. We're on a round two key. Round two key should be in. Shift rows of text block. Our top row doesn't shift at all. Our second row will shift one to the right. Second, uh, third row will shift two to the right, and th third, uh, fourth row will shift three to the right. I like that. So what that what, what would that give us? That would give us K, zero, one, two, and three. Our next one would shift one to the right. So that would be seven, four, five, six. Okay, so that means, what I'm seeing there is that means that we would take our 1032 of our top row and we would, so I'm just gonna walk away for a sec. I know, I know, hopefully I don't make anybody, we're gonna XOR gate it just like this. We have our text on the left, key on the right. Piece of cake, right? That gives us our ciphertext. Because I, I think I understand this. I actually do think I understand this. This one just seems like a lot of work more than trying to figure it out. The last one actually was one where you had to figure it out. This one doesn't seem like it's figuring it out. This one seems like it's uh, it's actually just a lot of work. Uh, so so then what we need to do is we need to represent that we're going through this, uh, this XOR gate. We have to represent that we're going through this XOR gate somehow. We could do like... Uh, 
So we could do 1032, 1032. That's what we could do. We can just note that 1032 is gonna be combined uh, and then we have 5476 gonna be combined. So this is step one. So we got, um, I think Finn, right, for Finn? So the idea here, just so everybody knows, is that you would go, so you go 10, so like you got you got your things. So then we would take our XOR gate with 1032. I'm gonna probably figure this out, uh, figure this out later. So then we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, 6, 7, 4, 2, 3, 0, 1, 7, 4, 5, 6. So that's going to be our new. So these are our two blocks. So then we're going to do our text block using the key block. Our key is up above, which is the round two key of 6688, 0100010010011000. Excellent. Perfect. And then we have uh, shift the rows of the text block, 0, 1, 2, and 3. 